Welcome to the second week devlog of Ninja Legends. Here we're going to go through some of the pieces we're putting together for the archery update. We already had enemies doing a complex pathing for the base game, but that's to an entirely new level with the archery update. Here you can see just a few of the ninjas jumping around the rooftops. This is using the base Unity nav mesh. The red means it's a jumpable area, so you can see them jumping up and down. There's also a custom place to jump points from one uh, mesh to area to the next. We determine this by putting it through a state engine, and each state engine is given a set of coordinates to which they're trying to get to. These aren't the jump points themselves, they're just a set of coordinates. And each enemy has to be set up individually based on where it's going to be pathed to. We wanted to keep it very regimented, so there's a structure to the level instead of just being randomly generated. The destination points here are labeled in green with the kunai. You can see them at the top of the buildings, at the midpoints, and at the low points, and that corresponded to the H1, H2, H3 for the high areas, M1, M2 for the mid, L2 for the low, and S for street. If we look at the orange kunai, those are the spawn points. So they're all at the start of the level, then enemies flow through, jumping around, until they get to the end of the level. With the nav mesh, we have the jump points to find. So if we turn those on, we can see all the jump points put together. There are a ton of them. Luckily, we just have to organize the jump points between the meshes, and not path every single jump point that the enemy is going to take. Doing that would have been more work than we should be putting in for the manual process. With all this, we can go back and take a look at the enemies jumping around. So now we have the enemies jumping around, and they're reaching to those uh, destination points. The Green kunai are turned off, but they're still trying to get to that position of the transform that was provided. We just set their target to their next position. Once they're close enough to that position, they'll move on and go to the next position. They'll reach the end of the level, and with the standard archery format, as the enemies reach the end of the level, you lose health. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.